the end of a truly, truly fun, fantastic, wonderful comic. And for this, today's first minutia minute in a long time, I would just like to have a moment of silence for Omac. Omac, you will be missed. You know, it's interesting because Years and years ago, they came out with an OMAC book. It was fun. Uh, it was a little different than the one that's here now, but not totally. Uh, the new one is definitely an homage to the original. But after eight short issues, it was canceled. Here again, just eight issues in, we lose OMAC. It's a sad day. So if you'd like to join me now for just a short moment of silence. On the upside, it's good to be back. <laughs> um, I don't know if anyone's watching anymore. It's been a long time since I've done any kind of a review. Um, I hope to hear from you guys soon. I've been watching you guys' videos, catching up. I just had a lot of personal stuff going on, but I've still been reading comics, and uh, I'm excited to do some comic book reviews again this summer. Um, OMAC number eight came out today, but it's definitely not the only book I got. I got, I think, about six books, so uh, if you stay tuned over the next couple of days, God willing, <laughs> there will be um, a Wednesday comic book haul show for you guys. Um, in the meantime, those of you guys who are reading OMAC, what did you think? Um, I was kind of torn by this issue, actually. There were elements, um, when you look at it, page by page, it's just, it's everything you want to see in an OMAC comic. Um, understandably, the story does feel pretty abrupt. It kind of comes out of nowhere because it is the last issue, and they had to sort of wrap it up in some way. I think, uh, based on the situation, I don't know if it could have gotten much better, but at the same time, it is still... A little lackluster just because it is the last issue and it did it did do a better job I would say of going out with a bang than most of the other DC issues did um, before the relaunch so that's a plus um, but even so it's just sad seeing it go so um, I do have an extra three bucks a month to devote towards comics now so if anybody has any ideas of what they think I should pick up um, Feel free to let me know. I'm looking for something in DC's second wave of uh, New 52 titles. We've got um, Batman Incorporated's coming out, Earth 2's coming out, Dial H for Heroes coming out. Um, those were the three that most that I that remain most in my mind. I know there's definitely others. There's like six titles I think total. Um, if you have any of those that you'd like to recommend to me that you think are going to be good, let me know. I'm curious to see what you guys think going in. Um, I'm pretty, I'm not excited about Batman Incorporated, I'll be honest with you on that. I was not a fan of the first Batman Incorporated, um, and just how that, just the whole, the whole thing is just so screwed up because of the whole relaunch. I just, I wish they would have just dropped it, because it, now it's just so, I'm so confused as to how Batman Incorporated fits into the whole Batman universe now. Um, and I just don't care enough to find out, so don't, don't suggest that title, I'm not gonna read it. Um... I am interested in Earth 2, um, and I'm definitely interested in Hero, Dial H for Hero. So, are you guys interested in either of those? What are you interested in? Let me know. Um, I don't have a minutia morsel of the day, other than um, I just want to say 
I missed you guys, and I'm excited to be back, and I hope you're excited to have me. Uh, <laughs> and I look forward to seeing what you guys picked up this week. So uh, with that, I'm going to let you go, and look forward to seeing you again soon. Bye.